Greetings everybody and welcome back to Daddy the Grand the Grand Daddy Plays Dragon Age I Inquisition. This, must be Master Dennett. this guy over here. That guy. Search. When the compass pulses, press V to search. Search indicates the direction of hidden objects with an additional pulse on the ground, and if you're close enough, reveals them. Now that is a mechanic I absolutely did not remember. Uh, oh yeah, those uh, those doors. I'm pretty sure that Very can attempt to open it. Why can't I leave this? There. There we go. There he is. So you're the Inquisition, eh? Yes. Watch yourself, Inquisition. It's ugly out there. Oh yeah, now remember, I think it's some kind of quest that. Ask us to find some certain kind of bottles over here. There it is. Bottles of Thedas. Found it. Apparently we needed to find it. And there's the horseman. Name's Dennett. I served Al Eamon for 30 years as horsemaster. I hear your inquisition is looking for mounts. That's right. Don't mind all of us just walking around the room in a very, very uncoordinated, unconfused manner. It is. Can you help us? Not at the moment. I can't just send a hundred of the finest horses in Ferelden down the road like you send a letter. Every bandit between here and Haven would be on them like flies on crap. You'll have mounts once I know they won't end up as a cold winter's breakfast. Got a problem with me? If you have a problem with me personally, I'd like to know about it. What? This because I called you a Haller rider? Those Haller are damn majestic beasts. <laughs> give my right arm to ride one. My wife Elena manages the farms, and Bron's in charge of my guards. They'll tell you what they need. Until then, you deserve something better than whatever knock-kneed plowneck they gave you. The chestnut over there is a purebred Ferelden forder. Take care of him, and he'll take care of you, Inquisition. Sounds good. So he called us a Hala rider. Hala is some kind of animal that is closely associated with elves, so she took offense to that, apparently. As you can see, no matter the game, no matter the universe, it is easy to offend anyone with anything. Appeared, the wolves have gone mad. They come after our men like beasts with the water sickness. You deal with the wolves, and our farmers will be safe again. Well, okay. Tell me about those wolves. How are these wolves acting differently from normal? Normal wolves go after livestock, but come at them with a torch and a blade, and they run. These beasts, though, it, it's like dark spawn during the blight, or when the dead rose to attack us. They're possessed, or something like it. I've lost too many men to the beasts. I won't endanger more. Well, good to know. In that case, we will take oh, care of those wolf boys, I guess. To you. Ask Elena how to make the farm safe again. I'm pretty sure we already asked her something, but there's more people that we can ask things as well. There's a quest. There's Sienna. Fancy trying out one of my courses? Okay, a race, huh? Explain those Can't races. Hey, Cassandra looks fine, too. Look at this. It's too narrow to race directly, so I time it with a sand glass. Uh-huh. You try to ride the course before I call time. I'll give it a try. I'll try one of your courses. Wonderful. Get your horse and I'll set up the stakes. Good you stuff. Time, I'll throw in some of the dress money father. So, mount the horse. Uh, when not in a dungeon, you can use the quest map to travel to distant locations. I don't want to do that. Press umschalt to gallop. Umschalt. Um, alternate, I think is what it is. Maybe. Also, we got our fourth point of power, so that's good. Okay, so let me see this. Is she timing this already? No, not this. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, you know what? No, I ain't, I ain't got no time for a race. I ain't got no time for a race. Let's get back to... Let's get back to, 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 to... How do I get back to the main room again? Quest map? Journal? Not journal. Ah, do I have to do this race now? I actually did not even see where I need to go. To the... I think that's where I need to go. I think that is where I need to go. 
Yeah, this is where I need to go. Wish I would have seen that earlier. Where's the next marker? Where's the next marker? Is it this one? It has to be this one. Yeah, I don't think we will make it in time. Or well, maybe I will. Well, not quite. Mr. Marker, doesn't matter. Ask the enter setup, of course. No, no, no. One time was enough. Get me off these. Get me off the. How do I get off the horse? Dismount with. What button even is that? That button, okay. It sets on the lower right corner. Otherwise, <laughs> I would have never surmised that. Alright, give me. There's the world map. That is exactly what I was looking at. Okay, back to Haven. We have got the power that we need to succeed further in life. I will come back for the horseball later down the line. All we needed really was to get the four power so we can proceed. I don't know if Val... Val Royale? I'm not good with French. Trust me, guys, I'm not good with French. I don't know if that place has some kind of level requirement. All of our guys are level four now. But getting four power was not even that much of a task in the first place. So we should be able to succeed there. I don't even think there was that much fighting going on there in the first place either. What was going on there, if I remember correctly, is that we get a new character up in there. So that's something to look forward to. Is there some kind of quest over here? Stables. And loot. Defenders. Arm pieces. Oh, we can craft weapons over here as well. I don't think there's anything interesting we could craft at this point in time because we haven't seen any fancy semantics. Expected you be by. I'm Harrit, and everyone knows who you are. How's the new gear fit? Quite well. Sturdy and warm. It's perfect. Good. World's gone mad. Stock armor and blades are good against bandits, but we're not fighting bandits. My gear will see you from demons, apostates, whatever this world throws at you. So, you need custom work. Something special. You bring the materials to us, we'll make it happen. Alright, sounds good. Sounds good. Goodbye. Goodbye. Right. We can talk about that later down the line. There were some... How should I put it? There were some uh, recurring characters. Actually, yes, now that I think about it, there's more than just Cullen in terms of characters who are showing up in every game. I feel like I talked about that in the first episode or so. There's actually quite a few now that I think about it. So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. Mmm, too many people died out there, but I'm doing fine. I'm just glad to be alive. Ah, I'm fine. I'm just glad I'm still standing after all that. I still can't believe you survived Cassandra. You're lucky you were out cold for most of her frothing rage. <laughs> for days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. Well, why did you stay? If it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this... Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was almost one of them. And now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that to sort itself out. I do trust that he would love to walk away from all of this. We need to close the breach. The breach needs to be sealed. The sooner the better. If it can be sealed, you might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky... That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. Well, in that case, we should craft ourselves one of those, right? A miracle in the making. Now, I'm pretty sure there's more characters over here that we can talk to. Liliana well, and... Who are you? When they're ready, piss off. If you're here to clean, Hess can get you a bucket and a broom. 
Anyone calls you knife here, come for me. Oh, you're her. Thryn. Inquisition quartermaster. Mm-hmm. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. I can do that. Farewell. Make her go with you. So the bird you was using their knife ears, it is used as an insult towards elves because, you know, ears, they're long and pointy, like a knife. It's a bit far-fetched. I don't even, I would personally not even make it qualify as an insult, but you know, it's a fantasy world. Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous, the lights in the shadow. In their blood, the maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood. To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak Fandraste, no? What does the Maker's Prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? I kind of feel like she is... We were talking in the last episode. We were talking about how the whole world is going crazy. Interpreting that she is the Herod of Andraste. And everyone was like, yeah, okay, maybe that's a bit far-fetched. And now she is buying to all of that as well. How is this a game? Do you see the sky? What about the temple ruins? The bones lying in the dust? Even if you didn't support the Divine's peace, you wouldn't call this right. Who could? So many innocent lives. The faithful murdered where the holiest of holies once stood. If the Maker willed this, what is it, if not a game or a cruel joke? Well, I can speak for Andraste. I'm just as confused as you. I speak for no one but myself, and I have no answers for you. You probably don't even worship the Maker. Lucky. He asks a lot. <laughs> the Chantry teaches that the Maker abandoned us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had. And he let her die. Well, my sympathies. Could blame her, kill us. Uh, maybe you should be angry at the people who murdered her. If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me. Working with the Divine. Helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. As you can see, our girl Eliana is having a little bit of a religious crisis going on in here. She was always a strong believer in Andraste. She, well, that was basically one of her big plot points. Which is actually a fun contrast because everything she does as a character. She's a spy master, she's a roguelike character more or less. It's a pretty, pretty stark contrast that you don't see explored like this all that often. I'm not really the best person to talk to. Doesn't the Chantry have people for this? <laughs> so I should let a priest comfort me? No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come, to work then. We will speak later. Alright, hopefully about more cheerful topics then. There's actually... Your kind killed the most holy. Lies. Your kind let her die. Shut your mouth, mate! Enough! Knight Captain! That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean? Oh, this Captain? guy again. Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its herald will restore order as you promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. Oh. If someone would take that guy out of the equation forever, God knows I would not be annoyed. On the contrary. Mages and Templars were already at war. Now they're blaming each other for the Divine's death. Now I can't even look at Cullen because he's standing in the way. A proper authority to guide them back to order. Oh, there, I can turn the camera. Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the Conclave. The Rebel Inquisition and its so-called... Herald of Andraste? I think not. You can see that she is having a very, very important conversation with herself over here. I don't know. The Inquisition seems about as functional as any young family. How many families are on the verge of splitting into open warfare with themselves? 
Yes, because that would never happen to the Chantry. Centuries of tradition will guide us. We are not the upstart, eager to turn over every apple cart. But another thing I gotta say, I remember that was true in the second Dragon Age game as well. But those mage robes look absolutely cool. I really, really like the design on those. Simple, but still clean and cool. Alright, investigate. You know what? Why is he here? I don't want to know why he's here. I want to go when he left. I will turn with good news. I'll make sure they see reason in Val Royale. I pray you're right. So do I, and I pray that this guy will be gone for good sooner rather than later. I want to talk to Solus. Solus is actually one of the few characters in this game that is almost always worth talking to. And the Epic Fakery. Can we do something in here? Let's check. Equip potions. We only have those healing potions in here. And potion upgrading. Now that's something interesting. Can we get some upgrades in here? There, Christine. We do not have enough elf root and dawn lotus for that. We need a lot more of that stuff. Alright, there you are. The chosen of Andraste. The blessed hero sent to save us all. Sounds dashing, but I'm not exactly a hero, not yet. I've no interest in being a hero. All I want is to find a way to seal this breach. Pragmatic, but ultimately irrelevant. I've journeyed deep into the fade in ancient ruins and battlefields to see the dreams of lost civilizations. Mm -hmm. I've watched as hosts of spirits clash to reenact the bloody past in ancient wars, both famous and forgotten. Every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. You study ancient ruins? What do you mean, ruins and battlefields? Any building strong enough to withstand the rigors of time as a history. Every battlefield is steeped in death. Both attract spirits. They press against the veil, weakening the barrier between our worlds. When I dream in such places, I go deep into the fade. I can find memories no other living being has ever seen. That's pretty impressive, I guess. You fall asleep in the middle of ancient ruins. Isn't that dangerous? I do set wards. And if you leave food out for the giant spiders, they are usually content to live and let live. See? That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about all the time. So spiders are the coolest animals and best neighbors in the world. They usually keep to themselves. You keep for you. You focus on being good neighbors for one another. Everybody's happy. Give me a spider as my neighbor every day. I've never heard of anyone going so far into the Fade. That's extraordinary. Thank you. It's not a common field of study for obvious reasons. Not so flashy as throwing fire or lightning. The thrill of finding remnants of a thousand-year-old dream? I would not trade it for anything. I will stay then. At least until the breach has been closed. Was that a <laughs> Did you see that? I am an apostate surrounded by Chantry forces in the middle of a mage rebellion. Cassandra has been accommodated. But you understand my caution. You can trust me. Oh yeah, that's what I was looking for. This is the guy with whom I want to go into a romantic state of affairs. Wasn't that girl that was just zooming, zoom, all the way through in here? That <laughs> she startled me for a bit. You came here to help, Solus. I won't let them use that against you. How would you stop them? However I had to. Thank you. But now let us hope either the mages or the Templars have the power to seal the breach. And then he zoomed all the way here next to me. Hilarious. Alright, Solus. I mean... <clears throat> Solus is definitely one of the more interesting characters in this game because he has a much, much deeper understanding of basically anything going on in here. For quite a few reasons. And, you know, he is an elf, so he is always more interested in any elf-related matters as well. So there's certainly some other point of interest for us as well. The Inquisition cannot remain in Basilea. She can't prove it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked her life to slow the magic of the breach. Mistress Lavellan, this is the Marquis Durelion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. 
House your your land justinia these lands for pilgrimage. This inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. First of all, Lavalan is actually the surname of his character in lore. Second of all, his style of fashion is questionable to say the this least. This is the first I've heard of Haven having an owner outside the chantry. My wife, Lady Machin of Denham, has claimed to Haven by ancient treaty with the monarchs of Ferelden. We were honored to lend its use to divine Justinia. She is a she was a woman of supreme merit. I will not let an upstart order remain on her holy grounds. It's actually remarkable that he has an honest-to-God moustache on his mask. And one of you has a moustache under the mask as well. Demons are pouring from the sky, and you're worried about land claims. Haven is the Durelion's rightful property. Has Empress Helene officially acknowledged your possession of Haven? I was unaware her Imperial Majesty had conferred with Ferenin's monarchs on this matter. The Empress... ...has not yet had the opportunity to do so. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so he doesn't have a strong claim over you, huh? Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all. No matter how strange they might seem. Is he going to twist and turn around? The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. That's awfully nice of you. There's my guy. Josephine, very, very strong in the field of diplomacy. Do the Durelions actually have a claim on this place? His Grace's position is not so strong as he presents it. Despite their Ferelden relations, the Durelions are Orlesian. If the Marquis wishes to claim Haven, Empress Selene must negotiate with the Ferelden on his behalf. Mm -hmm. Her current concerns are a bit larger than minor property disputes. I never realized it, but this bling is big as hell. Damn. One of that is massive gold. Well, you handled the Marquis pretty, pretty well. I'm so pleased the Marquis isn't tossing us out into the cold. His grace is only the first of many dignitaries we must contend with. You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after they depart. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. As you can see, she is pretty, pretty well versed in her craft. And that is one of the reasons why I really like her. I always, I, I think I've said that before in some kind of stream or some kind of episode. I always have a deep level of admiration and respect for someone who is good at his craft. That always makes me feel that uh, some sort of underlying respect, first of all, of course, because someone was actually putting the time, the effort in and becoming at, as good at something as that. And especially if it's something that I personally have never associated myself with. That is even more profound for me. Like, all of those diplomacy-related topics, you could haunt me with those. Absolutely. But she is rocking that stuff. What brought you to work for the Inquisition? Sister Leliana approached me. We've been acquainted for quite some time. For better or worse, being the Inquisition's diplomat has become as interesting as she promised. Oh, that is a very diplomatic way to put that. What sort of dealings have you had with nobility? For some years, I was the royally appointed court ambassador from Antiva to Orle. The nobility of Thedas is a rather singular sphere. Those I'm not acquainted with, I know through reputation. Hmm. Well, having you around can't hurt. I'm glad you're here. That's the option I want to go with. The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Montillier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Thedas's politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. Oh, you're excused, of course. She is always very, very active over here, and I like that quite a bit. What's this? Turn and research? Yes. Good. Okay. Apparently I had some research that I could turn in. And the children of Andraste. That's going to give me some extra XP, I guess. And now we go to the War Council. 
We have to go to Val Royale after all. Now, operations. You now have access to missions. Mission operations take time to bring the Inquisition resources and rewards. Only one mission per advisor can be active at a time. Some missions have a preferred type. Okay, let's, let's worry about that later down the line. So, I think we were asked to go to Val Royale over here. The Red Heart. Flames of the Inquisition Charter. I think these are temporary missions. They're ours. Doesn't require any time, doesn't require any power, huh? I take that. Um, Flames of the Inquisition Charger. Let's see. We would send our best and you will know it when you see it. It is much a tournament parade as on the battlefield. Let all who stand against you see that they stand against a force, a cause, our skill is yours. Okay, you know what? Call them. Inquisition Barded Charger. The armed mount has arrived and it is every bit as magnificent as promised. I feel like that is also some kind of DLC reward, or maybe I'm wrong about that. Let's send Liliana in. Red Heart. The Red Heart has arrived and it can only be described as inspirational. Okay, sure. Very sure those are some kind of mounts that we just unlocked. Alright, go back, check the Ferelden map. Uh, da, 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 rescue soldiers missing in Farewell. We need more power for that. Gather coin is available. Up until now, Inquisition forces have had the benefit of these Chantry's deep coffers. Now the Inquisition is forced to seek out its own sources of revenue. <laughs> it is going to grow further. Trade in and out of Haven is limited at this point, but there are various opportunities to earn coin. Provided the Inquisition is willing to focus its effort on the matter. It will be a simple matter to collect secrets and sell them, with nothing traceable back to the Inquisition. Trading in favors with merchants and the nobility is my specialty. Could turn us a great deal if we are careful. I'm not gonna go with your option in here, just because it goes the fastest. At your service. Thank you kindly, Gurdy. Now, next up... Uh, da, 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 da. Scout the Storm Coast. Oh yeah, that's probably gonna be one of our next options. The turn of high ever. That's a pretty, pretty fast mission. Uh, wishes to convey our deep sympathies of the death of Divine Justinia. The Most Holy was incomparable in her wisdom and dedication to peace. We will hold a vigil in high ever in remembrance of Justinia and cordially invite the Inquisition to attend. That's good. That's great. We have a number of Ferelden officers. We could send an honor guard to high ever. That sounds like a good plan. Work to work indeed. Thank you kindly for the idea. Okay, so we have to definitely go for the Stone Curse. Storm Coast? God damn. The Black Emporium. What was that one all about? I feel like we just have to unlock this one. You need passage across the Walking Sea to Kirkwall. That is easily arranged. The Black Emporium. I'm pretty sure I did not have that previously. Ship has been secured. Be wary of what you find in the Black Emporium, Inquisitor. I have heard many frightful tales. Would you like to gather your party? Not now. I'm pretty sure that's some kind of DLC area, but we'll check that out in a moment. Contact Clan Lavalan. That's my family clan. Could set Lilian out for that. The Dalish respect deeds, not words. Let my elven agents deliver something the clan needs at a show of good fate. Doesn't sound all that convincing. Uh, da, 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 da. Have we already gotten something in here? We have not. I was actually thinking I need to go to Valwario, but apparently I was wrong about that. Scout the Storm Coast. It's actually gonna be a pretty interesting place to go to because there's a new character waiting for us over there. Lieutenant Harding led a small complement of soldiers to the Storm Coast region to investigate reports of Grey Warden activity. She sent word that her party had established a camp near the shore, but we have received nothing further. At this time, the status of Harding and her mission remains unknown. Okay, that sounds like something we should absolutely check out. Venture forth. You come, you come, and you come, of course, as well. There. I'm to double click that. And confirm. We could also take less people than these required with us. I don't know if we get any benefit from that though, so I won't. 
bars of theaters. We already found one of those, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we found one of those in the horseman's house. I think that happened in the last episode. I'm not good with all of those liquors. Those are not my strong suit. But apparently someone enjoys them a great deal. And apparently I'm getting some kind of reward for finding them. So I will find them. That's exactly what I'm going to do. All right, let's see what the Storm Coast has in store for us. I hear the music playing, so the loading should almost be over. Almost be over. I'm very, very sure that there is... Your Worship, for what it's worth, welcome to the Storm Coast. I would have sent word sooner, but our efforts have been... delayed. How so? There's a group of bandits operating in the area. They know the terrain, and our mm -hmm. small party has had trouble going up against them. Some of our soldiers went to speak with their leader. Haven't heard back, though. Oh, in that case, I should pay them a beating, I guess. I'll do what I can to find our people. Thank you, Your Worship. That's a relief. The soldiers didn't have an exact location for the bandits, but they were starting their search farther down the beach. With all this fuss, we haven't been able to conduct a proper search for the wardens, either. Well, good luck. And enjoy the sea air. I hear it's good for the soul. Well, you heard right. A little bit of sea breeze is honestly god amazing. Real talk. Look at how small I am compared to this guy. Good stuff. Okay, we still can build those. We already have all the potions we need equipped. And we can actually use those tents to rest. Not that we really need to rest right now. Give me this elf root. And I hear those sounds. Those sounds are pretty, pretty loud. Anything interesting going on in here? Report. What is it? Could prove useful, sir. Mm, advance to the one level point. Let's do it then. Oh, there's our enemies. Hesarian shield. Yeah, we're gonna show them an honest to god good time. That hurt like a truck, you son of a gun. That hurt somewhat fiercely. Let it be known that I do not take kindly to that kind of behavior. They are burning, thanks to Solus being on the job. One of them is down. He is attacking Cassandra, so I'm gonna flank you, give you the chain, give you the boot for the finishing touches, and slice you down. Only I took a little bit of damage, it's not too bad. Give me that elf root. And there's more enemies. The blade over here. He is gonna fall. He is not going to live long and prosperous. There we go. Taunt you in. And you. Draw him in. Knock him down. Slice, slice, slice. I'm actually already halfway through to level 5. Good stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. I feel like this is somewhere across all that water is Kirkwall. It was a long journey. So chess can I rub this? Considering the company, I'm yes. surprised it didn't feel longer. <laughs> that was a nice jab at her. Um I'm pretty sure that somewhere around this part there's actually gonna be a new character that we will unlock later down the line. But that will take a little bit of story progress. I was actually sure we could get that in here right now. But no. But no, I guess I was wrong. What was that again? I seem to remember that was related to some sort of side quest. Nothing too important or interesting though. Nothing that we absolutely do need to associate with as of this moment. There's a road. We probably have to take this road. And there is our target. We have to raid the camp. Get our friends out, assuming they are still alive, which I hope. And once we do, we will see where the story will take us from there on out. They're also talking about Black Wardens. They're an organization in this game that deal with a very specific troublesome event. Beware of falling rocks. Thanks for the advice. That means that I will get some rocks falling down on my head, is that it? 
two of these shield guys. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Let's slice him down. Oh man, these guys always busy knocking me down. He threw me off. Soul is over here. Can I get one of you down here? I can. Good stuff. Come on. Finish him off. Finish him off. Thank you. I just love that I was able to pull him down there. I did not love being pushed down there. Solos, you're in the way. God damn you, Solos. Just because I made some nice remark being noted with a heart emote. You think you can now do anything in here, can't you? Well, no. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. Discover the Great Cove. Discover the Bandit Camp. Let's show them a good time. What's this? More elf root for me. We need a lot of elf root over time, so it's best to get it now. There's a hound. Knocked him down. This hound is surprisingly durable, I gotta say. Kind of feeling sad about having to do this, but it was apparently inevitable. There's more enemies. Come over here. Taunt him to give us a little bit of extra armor. And then we're gonna slice them all down. Is there another one? There's one all the way in the back. Come over here. That's what I'm talking about. Taunt him good. Taunt him, taunt him. I can't taunt yet. Still has a cooldown on it. So be it. He's attacking with a staff. And this guy's getting the boot. Bite the dust. Fine, 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 fine. Anything interesting going on in this house? There is nothing interesting going on in this house. There is something going on in this house. A longbow. Still can't quite use that. There's a chest too. A sturdy scout coat. It's a schematic. Let's try playing some more of my man Varric over here. No. Didn't want to hit that T button. Ah, you know, I thought. I kept thinking that was hitting the T button by accident. No. That mode also activates when you try to zoom out your camera even more. Like, this is apparently the max distance. If I try to zoom out more, that mode enables. Good to know. There's a ram. I'm gonna take this ram out. Oh my god! That was a one-shot, if I've ever seen one. Loot this beast. Hey there. Give me that ram leather, ram meat. I actually think, yeah, we need that ram meat for a quest we got going on in here. Oh my god, we absolutely destroyed that poor beast. The poor guy. There's another ram over there. But let's not bother too much about that. There's probably still more bandits in here somewhere in this zone that we need to find and root out. So that's exactly what I would love to do. I heard that noise. I don't know what it is. But we will probably find out in a moment. There. Boom. I feel like those beasts are just not tanky at all. I'm actually kind of feeling sorry for them now. Actually feeling kind of sorry for them now. Give me all the rewards though. There's some iron for later as well. I mean as long as we are here. As long as we need to. We can just take those beasts out. Boom. We're actually one-shotting them. I'm actually feeling so bad for doing that to them. Can't even climb up in there. Or is he able to climb up in here, but I'm not. They have to take a detour. But then I can get to you. There's another one. Missed. Shot him properly. Actually, did that one. Didn't get the crit on that shot. I wonder why we crit them at any opportunity before, but not in that one. Maybe there's some kind of underlying rule to that. Maybe I was hitting the other guys from behind and that always gives you critical hits. I don't know. I haven't played this game in such a long time. I do not remember a lot of mechanics. 
Colon is ready to report in. Going to look into that later down the line. Let's get in here. These must be the missing soldiers. Murdered. Shit. We should see that their families are notified. I think we can do that. Bandit notes. Our men were murdered by a group called the Blades of Hesarian. It seems there's a way to challenge their leader. Hesarian's blade is supposed to represent mercy, not random slaughter. Uh huh. Well. It looks like the bandits are camped further along the beach. I don't exactly know who this Hesarian guy is, but I do know that I just shot into the rocks. Boom. Oh, 524. I wish I would see that kind of damage against regular enemies. Maybe later. This map apparently didn't have any meat on it, huh? No meat on it at all? Cool. But yeah, whoever that bandit leader is, we're gonna go over there, we're gonna show him a good time, we're going to make him feel sorry for what he's done. And nobody, nobody is... Oh my god, this is high up. Nobody's going to be able to help him. We see to that. No. Oh, I see some enemies waiting there for us. I see him. There, you see him? I see him. I was about to say, and we wasn't shooting from him from this distance, right? That's more like it. I don't think he's even trying to do anything. We're just taking him out nice and slowly like this. Now we're fighting properly, huh? Boom. Okay, I think we shot into the wall. Got one of them down. Oh, hello there. Didn't even see you. Got some nice damage off there and there. Got a big one. That all? That all of them? I think it was. Yes. Yes, it was. All right. Move in. Kill everyone we meet. Hello. Someone saw me already. Good. I love it when they hear and see me coming. Whoa. Got some damage off there. Keep shooting the guy. Oh, no, no, no. There's dogs. Why is there dogs? Why is there dogs? We probably could use... We probably could stand to drink a potion over here. Don't think we need to do that just right now, though. Keep firing at them. Keep firing at them. Put down some call drops. Giving them a good time. It's not a lot of damage, but it is still damage. Oh, this guy's tanky, as we can see. That's the leader of them, huh? She used to push an automatically. That's nice. There's still the dog going on. Let's actually take that guy out first. And boom. Decent. This fight goes on for a little longer than I thought it would. That one guy is level 6 after all, so I guess it's not surprising. These cultures really not doing all that much damage. That's definitely one of the skills I don't really approve of all that much. Good. Decent damage against the dog. These dogs are also so very tanky. It's actually kind of insane. Kill him. Are we just out mashing here? Do we need better equipment? Is that it? No. Go in there. Throw out some more call drops. Just letting them know. I think we got it. Yeah, I think we got it. There we go. Got some cotton in here. Got some influence for completing the quest. Where's the big guy? He has to have some good loot in him, right? Got some power for that too. That's nice. Apparently the big guy didn't leave any kind of corpse behind. Maybe he got eaten by his own dogs. That would be nice. Alright, in that case, check this house. See if there's any kind of impressive looking loot. Hard in Hightown. Check that too. <laughs> I actually want to read that one. But for that, we need to find the chapter 1 first. Ferelden soldier helmet and a figurine of the betrayer. Whatever we will do with that, we will see that later. 
Okay, I think we actually did everything we were meant to do in here, right? For the most part. So, we move back in here. There's no fast rope point there, actually. There's some rifts that we could close, but I don't think we really need to associate ourselves with that. I would like to get some more ram meat, just for that one quest that we still got open somewhere. Yeah, maybe that's exactly what we should be doing in here. Maybe that is exactly how we should be doing things. Oh! There's a dragon going on there. I see you, baby. And he's fighting against that big beast there. What do we do now? Don't get killed by either of them. Yeah, they're they're having themselves a good experience over there. Are we joining in? Ah, let's go. Let's join in. See what happens. The giant. Oh my god, it's level eight. It's level eight. It's way too high for us, isn't it? I don't think we can actually hit him from here. Yeah, we're hitting. We're hitting him for no damage at all. We are dealing no damage at all to him. I think our level is just... Oh, he's throwing rocks. Oh, we run, we run, we run, we run, we run, we run, we run. Actually, he's taking some damage. But was it us dealing that damage to him or was it the dragon? Well, that's a big question. No, we are running. 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 That giant is not ours to defeat. Evidently, it is not ours to defeat. No, 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 Solus, no, no, that was a lie. That was a lie. I am not on my way. I am very much not on my way. I am on the opposite of on my way. I am on my way being away from the way towards you. The way of mine, this way of mine, it does not lead me to you. I think, I don't know what the giant is doing. He seems confused. The giant seems confused. He's moonwalking over there, you see that? Hilarious. Yeah, I think the giant over there has got some problems on his own to work out. Actually, my cor my friend's corpses got closer to me, so we can actually revive them, I guess. Cassandra. 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 Okay, no Cassandra. Good stuff. The other guys are lying down here. Can I wake them up? I feel like I need to send one of them to go die. Solus, what about you? I cannot wake them up at all. I can't wake them up. I feel like I've actually glitched the game a little bit with that escape attempt. We keep running. As long as we keep running, at some point we have to be completely out of his leash range. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we need to be a little bit of a higher level to take that guy out. That is for sure. That much is for sure. Okay, you know what? Quest map. Get back. That is a topic we will have to topic for another day. Could go back to the Hinterlands. We could go to Haven. Um, let's actually go back to Haven. Speak with the Apocathory. Have we done all the quests over here? We have just to establish some quests. Uh, not some quests. And there's also just a side quest. Let me check my quest, not my quest map, my journal really, really quick. We need to gain more power and gain enemies in equal measure. We'll take an iron will. We know that. The threat remains. Okay, we have to regain power again. We have to go to our speak with Corporal Blade. Do we have to do all these things? Oh, we'll be busy for days. Oh no, we have already some, we have already done some of that. We have done this, we have done this, we have done this. We had some power, apparently we did a mistake. I have we should have gone to World Warrior immediately. Alright, guys. You know what we're gonna do? We will end the episode over here. Off camera I will do some side quests to get ourselves the remaining three points of power. And then we will reconvene so we can all travel to Val Warrior together. Until then, thanks for watching, and until then have the greatest of days, and please stay as awesome as you are.